Okay, so if you haven't, I'm already tripping. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You got it. You can do it. Out of, out of all the times, out of all the times I make videos, I'm tripping now. <laughs> what are we doing today? Uh, we're detailing your car. I need some more coffee. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, um, I'll be detailing my friend's car here. Uh, what, am I, what I mean by <laughs> what I mean by Just take it detailing out is also polishing and waxing. So I'm gonna be going the whole enchilada of the car. And <laughs> oh, I forgot to explain. It. <laughs> so I don't usually just scrub the car down because when you scrub the car, it yeah, it scratches up and it creates a spider web. So I like to pressure wash it down and then soap it down afterwards and then you pressure wash it again. Does that make sense? I'll show you. Now that the car is somewhat dry, uh, I'm going to be showing you what I use to um, polish and wax the car. So the the products that I use are from specifically from Chemical Guys. They're really cool. Um, I watch most of their videos. They do a really good job. So uh, the product that I have, there's not really a name for it. It just has numbers. So what you do before the polish is you apply the compound and then you apply the final polish right afterwards. So, how am I gonna do that is, right here I got the machine on, on what I'm gonna be using, or what I'm gonna be applying the polishing onto the car. Now, the pads does matter what type of pad you're using. So right here, for instance, as I'm applying the, the compound, you wanna put four to five dots so one one dot in the middle one dot here here there at each corner basically so difference between the pads is for instance one pad is rougher than the other one which is in this case the orange one um, and then once applying the polishing final touch is a little more softer i guess just to show y'all this is a more softer kind of a pad um, so this is the white one is going to be what i'm going to be using for the final touch now, there are different kinds of polishing depending on how hard um, or how much damage the paint has come to. So I'm not gonna get into that. Maybe I'll show you guys in another video. So this is what I'm gonna be using right here is a hybrid compound. So for instance, this car doesn't have too much damage to the paint, so I'm gonna be using the lighter. And then what I'm gonna be using on the final, final touch, so is the final polish. Now when it comes down to this machine right here, um, you don't want to apply too much pressure to the car or the paint or else you'll end up damaging it. So the way that it works is it'll stop when, it'll start slowing down once you're doing it at an angle or it's not straight. So this is how kind of how you want to do it, is you want to put four or five dots at each corner, one in the middle. Now, to start it off, we're going to be applying the compound on this section of the hood. Now we want to put, we don't want to 
immediately turn on the machine because all the compound would just be flying everywhere. So you want to apply the compound how it is right now. You want to contact the pad, the pad to the hood at the section that you're going to be working on. So for instance, say my hand right here is a pad. We're going to be putting a spot here, 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 and basically this whole section of the hood. Right now I'm putting the final touch, which is the polish. And so like I said before, you want to put four to five dots on the pad and then apply it to the section that you're going to be polishing. So after applying the compound and the polish, uh, you want to put, you want to apply the wax. Now the brand that I use is a good brand. It's not, it's something that doesn't come from chemical, chemical guys himself. So this is a brand I use is liquid grass. It's supposed to be the, the best uh, wax you can get. You don't just get a normal pad and apply it as you would do with polishing and waxing. So what I do is get one of these pads. They sell them at Walmart for cheap or uh, just any auto shop. So you wanna pour a good amount and a good amount is about a, uh, a dime size, like that good amount, All right? And then what you wanna do is you wanna go, you wanna do it to a motion where you're going up and down. And so what the wax does is protects the paint, basically. It protects it from the rain, uh, rock chips. Not, it doesn't protect it 100%, but it'll do its job and it won't cause too much damage to the, to the car, the paint, or the body itself. Now, after applying the wax, you wanna wait a couple minutes, uh, probably like five minutes, and you wanna get a new clean rag not brand new, but you need want you want a rag that you haven't been using, and just wipe the wax off. And it's not a hard job; it just takes a lot of time and patience. Now I know there's a lot there's a lot more better videos than this, but I just wanted to throw out like you know this kind of like a hobby to me. The only reason why I'm studying in business management because I hope to one day own well not hope. I want to own a business, uh, detailing business, because I actually have fun doing this, you know? That's why this is a hobby. Um, so I just kind of wanted to share my knowledge with y'all, you know? I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more better videos than what I'm making, but uh, this is kind of like a hobby, a side job for me. All right, guys, so that does it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to do some more like these. Um, detailing cars, y'all guys let me know if you guys need a detail on your car, polish wax, or, or just a car wash, you know. Uh, I do a pretty good job about it. Um, hopefully I'll be posting more videos uh, of detailing it and how to detail it and do it correctly. But like I said guys, thank you for watching. I'm glad I got to share what I do on the side. I hope to see you guys next time. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like. Uh, I'll be trying to post these videos at least twice a week or maybe three times a week, but it's just the time and uh, having school and work is uh, pretty crazy. 
So appreciate you guys watching. Peace. Man, my face look good. Oh my god. I know you'd be staring at it. Okay. Oh, me too. Alright, anyways. You have a boyfriend? No.